Hi there, my name is Nijin. I'm a physiotherapist at Apple Creek Sports Medicine Center. Today we will talk about running in cold weather. Frostbite and hypothermia are the most common hurdles that one may come across during a cold weather running. Knowing the warning signs and risk factors are important to avoid them. Frostbite occurs when our skin temperature falls below a minus 5 degrees Celsius. The common areas are that are away from our body core, like your nose, your ear, your fingertips, or your toes. And the warning signs are usually pain followed by a numbness on the over the area, sometimes pale skin color, sometimes freezing or formation of ice crystals on top of your skin. Hypothermia occurs when our body temperature or core temperature falls below a 35 degrees Celsius. It occurs when our body's ability to create, produce energy fails. The warning signs of hypothermia are different from person to person. Generally, a mild hypothermia you can identify by increased shivering, sometimes with social withdrawal or behavior changes. Uh, shivering is the body's own mechanism to raise your body's core temperature by increasing your metabolic rate. In severe hypothermia, one may lose their ability to shiver and they get more confused and eventually leading to loss of consciousness. The way to prevent hypothermia or frostbite is a layered approach to your clothing. And you need an innermost layer, a middle layer, and an outer layer. An innermost layer should be able to absorb any sweat or moisture from your skin and the best options usually are polypropylene, polyester, or synthetic wool. And cotton usually keep or trap moisture close to your skin. And depending on the weather, you may need more than one middle layer. A middle layer can be made of wool or a fleece. That's those are the, one of the good options out there. And you may need to remove some layers as you're running intensity increases. An outer layer is needed to protect you against wind, ice, snow or rain and it must allow moisture transfer and ventilation. Other accessories that you may need are gloves or mittens. Mittens are usually better. You need like a cap or a headband that can cover your ears, proper shoes and socks and sometimes you can use a face mask or like a ski mask. Other things you can consider are Try to do the warm-up in, indoors in a warm area before you head outside. Now, avoid days that are really rainy, windy, or snowy. And if you feel any of the warning symptoms, try to stop the running, move to a wet, and dry, and warm area. And if you think the symptoms persist, call for medical help. First fight usually need a medical attention. And that's all for today. Thank you.